Monday morning, about 9.30 a.m., so I have an hour and a half to check out of the Glorietta Bay Inn, which is just behind that building. But I decided to go across the street to the famous Hotel Del Coronado. This is the this is like a big landmark on the, on the island. I've walked by it a few times, but I've never been inside the lobby to see how it looks. Beaches down that way. So this would be the most, or generally when I looked online, by far the most expensive hotel on the island. I know it's been in a couple of either TV shows or movies, not necessarily famous ones, but I'd have to look up to see what obscure titles have been featured. the inside of Hotel Del Coronado. I'm sure the rooms are probably nice but the lobby and the shops underneath were very underwhelming so to speak. So now I'm out here at the beach. Uh, these all these like green things that you see they spell out the word Coronado. You can't tell from this low level of ground but if you were looking at satellite imagery or a plane uh, they each spell out a letter, like that there spells out the letter R. This is in the shape of an O. You can kind of tell even though it's not the perfect looking O, but from satellite imagery, it'd be uh, good enough. So I'm waiting for the 901 bus, just checked out of my hotel. And the bus stop's actually right outside the corner of the intersection where our hotel was. So I didn't realize that. That's convenient. The bus should be coming from that way and it's gonna go through Orange Avenue all the way to downtown San Diego. But Still not quite certain what I'm going to do down there.
bus near Petco Park. It took took a chance that maybe the park at the park would be open today on uh, President's Day, and sure enough, the gate was open, and here we are. Now, I th in one of my videos the other day, I mentioned how there was a monster truck rally going on. At least I think I mentioned it in one of the videos. Monster truck rally was going on. Uh, I think it was Saturday night, February 15th, I believe. And it was the second one this month. And that makes sense why when I came by the other day, there was all this dirt in the field. And now it makes me think back to last year when the, I think a similar thing was happening. There was a bunch of dirt everywhere. And I just assumed they were redoing the field for the sake of redoing the field in, in uh, preparation for the new year, but maybe that was a monster truck rally last year as well. So yeah, I'll take, I, even though I took some pictures and videos last year when I was here, I'll try to see if there's anything I didn't capture. There's the Tony Gwynn statue. If I circle around, you've got a Fox Sports building there. Bumblebee Seafoods. I think that's uh, probably the bumblebee tuna fish, right? Too bad I haven't come here when there's actually grass in the infield. <laughs> I think the Indians do play here at some point this season. This is the part I missed last year. It was the Padres in Cooperstown. See the Trevor Hoffman statue right over there. And then you've got a little San Diego Hall of Fame. The team store is back there. And here you've got the 1984 National League Championship and a bunch, bunch of the signatures of players. Got a San Diego glove for a nice photo op in the background. The Golden Glove Award. I guess it lists all the players who had golden gloves. And then another ball with the 1984 National League champions and some more signatures. Let's see here, what do we got in there? This is pretty cool. We get to kind of be in the back of the scoreboard, Petco Park. Oh, we got another exhibit over here. Padres Honors. So you've got the Gold Glove winners again, the Cy Young winners, most recently Jake Peavy in 2007, the National League Reliever of the Year, National League MVP Ken Caminetti did it once, National League Champions, All-Star Game was here in 2016, and the Silver Slugger team as well as the National League Rookie of the Year. Pretty cool. I don't know if there's an exhibit, there's like an arrow that says Hall of Fame. I don't know if there's actually a, that's probably, if I had to guess, something that's only open on game days. So I'm doing something a little different and unique. We'll see if it's open. I'm on a street called Spruce Street in San Diego. It's about not, I mean, it's not too far from downtown. On, on the bus, it was probably like 10 to 15 minutes just because of a bunch of stops along the way. So, But it's not too far. You can see I'm in like a regular San Diego community. But the thing I'm supposed to be going to is there's a suspension bridge. If you remember like the Airbnb I was staying, for example, and there was like a 
you could, I looked up and could see there was a drop off where the street just ended. Well, this is supposed to be a suspension bridge that actually connects one of those type of streets from one end to the other. So, there's supposed to be some nice views on it. And I think I see it up ahead there in the distance. So let me uh, stop the video and flip it around. Picking up where the last video was. You can see it in the distance there. Let's stop here. There's the bridge. Of course, I'm going to he head toward that. I like doing the uh, lesser known tourist attractions, so this is one of them, thought it would be pretty cool. I'm going to try to keep the film rolling so you can get a perspective of the walk up to it how it just kind of comes out of nowhere, at least how it looked on Google Maps. This one's actually a two-way street, I think. A lot of these streets were one-way one streets. Or maybe it's not a through street. That part is. of the bridge are supposed to be 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Right. I'm going to take a picture. Alright, so now I'm about to try walking the bridge. Get an extra tight grip on my cell phone here. I read online that this bridge can sway a little bit. If you can see these ropes are pretty pretty firm. Yeah, I definitely definitely feel the swaying. There's also a place down there where people were walking, like a little canyon. What? <laughs> Yeah, there's a canyon down there. I think when you get to the middle part here, you're supposed to be able to see a little bit of downtown San Diego. The skyline. It is shaking, so I'm holding my phone with both hands. I'm going to shoot a rare video vertically because it gives you more perspective of the bridge and the skyline. Yeah, if you're terrified of heights, probably wouldn't recommend coming up here. I mean, it's not bad, but it's I'm constantly shaking, so it's not often I put both hands around my phone.
sitting the other side of the bridge. Get one more selfie video perspective shot. Less wildly toward the uh, exits and entrance part. Don't think I'm going to do the, the canyon part. Because I have a, about 15, 20 minute walk, I think, to the next place I want to go to. Which is again embedded right in the neighborhood. And that's what I liked about this one, it's just like right in the neighborhood. See, it's not like a. Not like a super popular destination, but still unique. So the next place I'm heading toward is just a normal residential place. But they have a ton of bushes and whoever owns the bushes has decided to, over the years, sculpt, sculpt the bushes and do like a bunch of unique different things. So they've made their own little tourist thing. I doubt anybody will be there when I'm there. Probably just, you know, random people going by every so often. Definitely a lot of up and down hills in these neighborhoods I can see. So this sidewalk is going down. And then I'm supposed to take a right to get to the place I'm going. It weaves in and out a lot. Turn right I just onto thought this Street. downward sidewalk kind of unique looking, not something I see in Cleveland or Ohio. Looks like a face on a tree. I think it was put there. So I was like, Google Maps, are you taking me to a dead end here? <laughs> Because it didn't look like any street, really, even though it told me to go up here and turn left. So let's figure out together where exactly I'm going. Oh, okay. So it looks like Google Walking Path is taking me down here. I don't know. I think I should check to make sure this is legit. <laughs> I'll walk down a little bit more. Even if it's not legit, it's given me a nice... This is the type of uh, picture and video I've been wanting. Showing the different levels of all the houses. You can't quite get the same shot when you're at ground level, so this is actually perfect. I think this is good. It looks like it's just connecting us down to that, uh, where those blue things are down there, which is connecting me to an actual street. I was up there looking across the tall things. It kind of came down and then got to Ostego Drive, and now Google Maps is telling me to go up. So I think those houses I was seeing earlier, I don't know if I'm going right up to them, but I'm at least taking this part of the street to go halfway up. Yep. Keeps going up. Continue on to Goldfinch footpath. Forgive me if you <laughs> hear my breathing on the video. Normally it's fine going uphill, but uh, my backpack on. Google Maps called this the Goldfinch Trail, this part.
Slight right onto West Walnut Avenue. Now I'm up at the top. <laughs> Get a perspective shot again. So I'm getting closer, it says I'm about two minutes away, I think, from my spot. But as I was getting turned the corner there, I didn't realize how close I was from an above ground level to the San Diego airport. So you actually get a nice overhead view of it here. I had seen when I was on that bridge earlier a few planes in the distance pulling away. But they were like way up in the sky. So yeah, it's the airport there. Down this way, you've got a nice view. Tree maybe blocking some of it. No planes coming right now, but and then my place that I'm going to see the bushes at is just a little bit further ahead. Quick here. retake. There's the airport. It's not that way. Don't worry, I didn't walk that far. Just walk a couple of feet. It's uh, supposed to be down this way. I think at the bottom of the hill. All right, so I, you saw me coming down that street. I wasn't sure where it was at. He had some houses. And all of a sudden I walked and I was right up next to it. So this is it. It's called Harper's Topeir Tope Garden, something like that. So I assume it's this white house that takes the meticulous care of it. It's hard to identify in the camera what's what, but you can tell if you look long enough at the picture. You can distinctly tell some shapes. I mean, that thing over there looks like a rabbit, right? With some glasses thrown on it. Like I said, one of those things that's not a super known tourist attraction, but I think it's pretty cool. That looks like a rooster at the end there, right? Maybe. And like a little guy there holding up the American flag. I'm gonna see if that sign on the left side there has any uh, wording on it that talks about the garden. I know it does say over there, don't touch or walk on the hill. But there's no sidewalk on that side, so you, you have to be careful because, you know, like this oncoming traffic both directions. Let me give you a perspective, too, of where it's at. In this regard, you've got more street down there, and then you've got... Oh, there you go, you got an airplane taking off. another vertical video just because of the size of this and I wanted to get it up close so this there's not many props in this thing but you can tell this one it's like a rabbit with some glasses on it and then it has a little leash with a dog it also has mini glasses on it on the tree there it says Edna scissor hands I mean some of these things it's hard to tell exactly what they are you definitely know they're shaped like a animal of some kind. I mean, this one has like a sombrero on. Up there, that's the uh, one of the other props. Uh, I'm assuming a human sitting with a little American flag in his hand.
think that one up there looks like it has some type of glasses, but again, I don't know what quite it is. Again, you can tell that's an animal there, but what animal? I don't know. Up to interpretation. This one here, I think, was a rooster. Just because of the three things on top. And then you have a nice little smiley face. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. Just walking to a Green Line train station. Came across this thing, International Restaurants Row. There's a Mexican food place there. Looked like a Irish. And there's sandwiches here. National Comedy Theater. A mixed variety. Of restaurants. I haven't taken time to see what's around here, so I wasn't going to stop to grab anything to eat. Figure once I get to this bus, I'll figure out which way I want to go back toward downtown or back toward like the uh, Old Town Liberty Station area. They still have about five and a half hours to kill before I need to be at the airport. And unfortunately those were the two things I did already were the two things that I quote planned on the green line, got off in Old Town. I'm going to try to see if that bus I took the other day to the Liberty, or from Liberty, public market is still running. Since today's President's Day, not all the buses have the same schedule. So if it is running, I'm going to try to take that to uh, Liberty Public Market. And I would get some food to eat there. So after I had eaten again at Liberty Public Market, I had a chicken sandwich and fries. I was taking the bus, getting ready to go to the airport just several hours early just because I couldn't think of anything else to do, so I figured I would just hang out there. And as I was on the train, I saw in downtown San Diego this big green space called Waterfront Park. So I quickly Googled it, and within like a minute, I said, all right, I'm going to try to hop off and see what it is. So. I forget what year it was made, it was somewhat recent, but uh, this is just a part of it. You've got fountains on both sides, green space in the middle, and then I'm just at one small end of it. On the opposite side of this tan building over here is the other half of the park where I think there are more water things for kids to do like jump in and of course it's right next to the water as well sorry now that sun glare you can't really see into it so I won't point that direction and this is the I think it's the county building for San Diego <laughs> 